Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Anthika Karasava reporting from the heart of the Greek capital where banners are being propped up and loudspeakers mounted onto poles as unions gear up for a third day of protests. The entire civil sector has shut down for two days with a spray of demonstrations expected here throughout the day and across the country. Well, the government just as recently as yesterday insisted it would not be pressing ahead with additional austerity Austerity, but a draft budget for 2014 just revealed shows an increase of 11.4 percent in direct taxes on Greece's 5.7 million taxpayers. Initial estimates calculate that spike to mean that each taxpayer will be dishing out at least 400 euros more in taxes next year. Now, fleeing away from what many corporations are calling an unbearable business climate, Biojalco, Greece's biggest metals processing group, has announced its decision to relocate its headquarters and stock market listing to Belgium. With sales topping 3 billion euros just last year, Biojalco decided to pull out of the country in a bid to secure its operation in what it called a stable and lower tax jurisdiction. The pullout is a clear slap in the face for the government and its claim of a financial recovery budding out in recent months. To give you an idea, however, of the impact this bombshell piece of news is having here, imagine a company of the size and scope in the United States of U.S. Steel packing up and moving from Pittsburgh to Mexico in the aftermath of the Lehman financial crisis or France's powerhouse Renault relocating to Japan because of its wobbly financial situation. Now, despite promises by the government to slash corporate tax rates were in fact raised this year from 20 to 26 percent. Viojalco sells to more than 60 countries internationally, accounting for about 10 percent of Greece's total exports. The company, which is the cornerstone of a conglomerate of corporations, is the fourth heavyweight company to move out of Greece. Most of its subsidiaries, we understand, we're being told, will most likely follow suit in the coming months. That means more flight of capital and confidence from Greece. That's it for today. Join us here again tomorrow.